Hello everyone, in this video we are solve this interesting exponential equation. It is a mass Olympiad question. This question is 3 to the power n plus 2 to the power n is equal to 35. n is equal to what? Here is n is positive integer. So our target n is equal to what? How to solve this exponential equation? So our question, it will be 3 to the power n plus 2 to the power n is equal to 35. This is our question. Now you can see easily this expression, this equation, it will be 3 to the power n whole to the power 1 plus 2 to the power n whole to the power 1 is equal to 35. Now I can see easily, here is 1, this is 1, so it will be 3 to the power n, this one, it will be 3 over 3 plus 2 to the power n, and this one also, 3 over 3 is equal to 35. Now, at this moment, I can see easily, here is 3 to the power n. So, it will be 3 to the power n and whole to the power 1 over 3 times 3. Look. 1 times 3 it will be 3 plus and in this expression you can see it will be 2 to the power n and whole to the power 1 over 3 times 3 is equal to 35. Then I can see this expression it will be 3 to the power n over 3 and whole to the power 3. I take this exponent inside the bracket here plus and it will be 2 to the power n over 3 and whole to the power this 3 is equal to 35. Now at this moment I can see easily here is 3 to the power n over 3 and 2 to the power n over 3. So let 3 to the power n over 3 it will be x and 2 to the power n over 3 it will be y. Now, at this moment, you can see easily, it will be x to the power 3 plus y to the power 3 is equal to 35. Now, we know that e cube plus v cube, it will be a plus v times s square minus a b plus b square. So, according to this law, it will be x times y, x square minus x y plus y square is equal to 35. Now, at this moment, you can see really, here is two term, two cases. So, I can see really, here is x plus y is less than here x square minus xy plus y square. Obviously, x plus y is less than x square minus xy plus y square. So, I can see really, this term, it will be x plus y times x square minus xy plus y square is equal to 35. So I can see it will be 1 times 35. Then you can see this will be also 5 times 7. So we we'll find out is 2 factor, 2 case. Our first case is x plus y is equal to 1, this is equal to 35. Or other case x plus y is equal to 5 and this is equal to 7. So I can see easily here is x plus y is equal to 1, our first case, and here x square minus xy plus y square is equal to 35. Yes. Now at this moment we'll find out what is the value of x and y. So if I take both sides whole square, so it will be x plus y whole to the power 2 is equal to 1 to the power 2. I take both sides whole square, so it will be x square plus 2xy plus y square is equal to 1. So we'll find out here is a nice equation. It will be x square plus 2xy plus y square is equal to 1. So I take this value in this expression, so it will be x square minus plus 2xy plus y square is equal to 1. And then if I subtract both equation, so it will be x square x square is cancel out minus 3xy this is cancel out 
and it will be 34. Then you can see easily here is x y is equal to negative 34 over 3. But remember that x and y is positive integer. So it is a fraction, so it is not possible, it is rejected. But our, our other case here is 5, this is 7. So if I take case 2, you can see easily here is x plus y, it will be 5. And other case here is x square plus sorry minus x y plus y square is equal to 7 it's okay now at this moment I can see that it, this value where find out here is look x plus y is equal to 5 so if I use both side whole square so I can see that it will be x square plus 2xy plus y square is equal to 25. I use both side whole square. But here is x square minus xy plus y square is equal to 7. So we'll find out here is wonderful equation. It will be x square plus 2xy plus y square is equal to 25. But look here is x square minus x y plus y square is equal to 7. Now at this moment if I subtract both equation so I can set this this cancel out it will be 3 x y and this this cancel out and 25 minus 7 it will be 18. And then you can see easily here is x y is equal to 6 but we'll find out here is x plus y is equal to 5 here so I can see the we'll find out x plus y is equal to 5 and x y is equal to 6 now at this moment we'll find out what is the value of x and y in this question so you can see the here is x plus y is equal to 5 so at this moment I can see the here is y is equal to 5 minus x so this is our other equation and at this moment if I put this value in this expression in this equation so it will be x times y it will be 5 minus x is equal to 6. Now I can see easily this expression this equation it will be 5x minus x squared is equal to 6 then it will be negative x squared and positive 5x minus 6 is equal to 0. I just move on this 6 in this side it will be negative 6. Then we'll find out it will be x square minus 5x plus 6 is equal to 0. I multiply both sides by minus 1. It will be positive x square minus 5x plus 6 is equal to 0. Now at this moment if I do middle factor in this exponential equation it will be x square minus 3x minus 2x plus 6 is equal to 0. We know that 3 times 2 it will be 6, 3 plus 2 it will be 5. Then you can see that here is x is common. So x minus 3 and here is minus 2 is common. It will be x minus 3 is equal to 0. 6 divided 2 it will be 3 and negative it will be plus minus it will be minus. Then you can see that here is x minus 3 is common. So it will be x minus 2 is equal to 0. And at this moment you can see that here is x is equal to 3, 2. So we will find out x is equal to 3, 2. But recall our other sums equation it will be y is equal to 5 minus x because of that here y is equal to 5 minus x now at this moment we find out what is the value of y in this question so y when uh, x is equal to 3 this time you can say y is equal to 2 when x is equal to 2 this time you can say y is equal to 3 so we will find out when x is equal to 3 this time y is equal to 2 when x is equal to 2 this time y is equal to 3 so at this moment I recall first of all we are let here we are let uh, y x is equal to 3 to the power n over 3 y is equal to 2 to the power n over 3 so I can see easily here x is equal to 3 to the power n over 3 this time y is equal to 2 to the power n over 3 it's okay now at this moment if we take this value it will be 3 
3 to the power n over 3 and y it will be 2 so I can say 2 to the power n over 3 now we know that this exponent is 1 this exponent is 1 so this base is same so I can say the exponent is equal so n over 3 is equal to 1 so then you can see that here is n is equal to 3 and here base is same so you can see the exponent is equal n over 3 is equal to 1 then you can see that n is equal to 3 so we are finding out here is n is equal to 3 and n is a positive integer so n is equal to 3 is our right answer but others case look here is x is equal to 2 so if we put this value here so 2 is equal to 3 to the power n over 3 so we can't find out here is a positive integer so it is not possible it is exact that this value is rejected but this is possible because of that this time we can't find out positive integer now at this moment our question uh, 3 to the power n plus 2 to the power n is equal to 35 let's check out uh, 3 to the power n so 3 to the power 3 plus 2 to the power 3 is equal to 35 so you can see easily 3 to the power 3 it will be 27 plus 2 to the power 3 it will be 8 is equal to 35 so 27 plus 8 it will be 35 so 35 is equal to 35 so you can see the n is equal to 3 it is our right answer thank you all if you enjoyed this video please subscribe my channel for other interesting video goodbye take care